hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we will show you how to use file dialog control in our qtqml application and how to use this basic property and how to use this event and how to get this selected file path in our qtqml application so let's start first of all import the qtq control now import the qtq dialog Now let's create the uh, file dialog control. Assign the ID. Okay. Now let's create the one button control to open the file. Assign the simple text. Now let's create the on click event. Now open the file dialog control dot open. Now let's here we have to set the uh, default folder. So let's select the uh, shortcut dot uh, picture location. Okay. Okay. Now let's create the uh, one accepted event. Now let's print the uh, selected file path. So simply use the uh, file URL. Okay. Now let's run the application and check it. So now let's select the uh, image. So you can see the selected file path here. You can see. Now let's select the uh, apply the some filter. So here is use name filter property and write your filters like image files let's select the only image files so now you are uh, provide your extension which you want to you want to allow so let's simply assign the uh, png and jpg also and now let's run the application so you can see the uh, here you can see the image files filters is allowed so you can see the this is the selected file path now let's select the uh, assign the uh, multiple get the uh, multiple selected input As allow to select multiple of uh, allow to select multiple files so let's select the uh, multiple true and print the uh, file url as okay now let's run the application and check it now select the multiple files so you can see the file array so now let's uh, apply the one modality property so let's assign the qt application model so when we use application model we block the uh, backend inputs so here you can see the when I open the uh, file dialog control. So I cannot uh, send the background property. Background application input. Here we have to must. We have to select the first of all the file and you can see this is the uh, selected file. So these are these are the basics property of the, your file dialog. Here you have to set your default file path. Here you can set your multiple filters and whatever file you want to allow to select. And this is the modality and this is the both property for the get the selected file path so please drop your comment if you have any questions about qt file dialog control in our qtqml application and please like this video and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of new video and thanks for watching my video thank you